Hi and welcome to Bitches of Horror. And today we're going to talk about the film The Dead Center. Yeah, The Dead Center is from 2018 uh, from the US. Uh, it's directed and written by Billy Sinis. And Sinisi? Uh, Sinise? Maybe? Or Sinis? Sinisi? Yeah. <laughs> uh, starring Shane uh, Carruth, uh, Purna Yaganathan, uh, Jeremy Childs, and Bill Feehealy. Yes, and it's about a psychiatrist who receives a patient and he claims that he was dead and now has been brought back to life. Um, And yeah, some weird things are happening in the psych ward and uh, they're trying to figure that out, basically. Yeah. He's trying to figure out what's wrong with him. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Mm. he was dead and now he's not dead, so, you know, something... It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, uh, I have to say that I I really like the atmosphere in this film. Oh, the the so atmosphere good. In, the, in the hospital was really creepy. It was really mm. good. It, it reminded me kind of something like from Lovecraft or something. It, it mm. just felt... It, it felt in a, in a certain way. Like, yeah, you have to see the film. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, one of that was that was also one of the things I thought was really good. Uh, I thought it was creepy at moments, and it made you like who who like it, you know, put you on the edge of your seat a little bit. Uh, it had some like harsh mo, not like harsh harsh, but like you know, sort mm-hmm. of like ooh moments because this like psychiatrist he's trying to fight to like keep people there to make them healthy, uh, but you know the director's like oh we don't have time for like people who aren't actually a harm to themselves or mm. or to anyone else like just just get them out get them out yeah and he's just like trying to like actually help people and you're like oh i love his character shane yeah. carrot's uh, character is fantastic yeah i mean you you're rooting for him and you know even when things uh, don't go his way you're like no please you're so invested so you're like no but he's just trying to help oh no and <laughs> yeah i i was really invested in his character and uh, I also like the film because uh, it like uh, with his patient, you, you don't really know yeah. at first, like, is he just uh, like, uh, uh, like, not crazy, but uh, is he sick or did he did something really happen and he mm. brought something with him? And you didn't or... know, you didn't know who he was either. Yeah. He was just a John Doe. Yeah. So you, you kind of felt the doctors or uh, confusion confusion and you were like okay i don't really know what's going on but it, it's really interesting and it kept me going and mm. and i really liked the scenes between uh, the two of them yeah they were very intense very well yeah. made and it's such a well-made film for uh, <sighs> such a lo- low budget film yeah the the camera work was fantastic in this film mm-hmm. i really i really enjoyed that and like how they kind of like made things blurry sometimes and like just how they i don't know it always felt right like with the camera and with like the editing it was it was uh, very well done in that sense and uh the ADR was like spot on the the music the sound just the sounds that they had in this film it was mm-hmm. really fitting yeah the sound really enhanced all the creepiness yeah everything yeah it really did and Shane Carruth, he's a treat, is what I wrote in my notes. He's a treat. <laughs> he's just so good in it. <laughs> he is. He's really good. He's really, really good. Yeah. And I, I really did enjoy how it, like, progressed. And... Yeah, because I, I, I didn't really know what to expect. Like, I was like, no. oh, it's it's probably going to be me. And then mm. I was like, oh, I'm really drawn in. Uh, his character is, like, he's so likable. And I just want to, yeah, just want to mm. see how this ends. But yeah. Yeah. I think the only thing that maybe I would have wanted to have more of mm-hmm. was probably the lore in the film, like oh, towards yeah. the end. Just a little I bit agree. more meat on the bones with the with the lore. Yes, I I, I agree. I agree. Mm. Like I, I said that it, it felt a bit lo- like Lovecraft, but like not entirely. Like they could have <laughs> done a, a bit more with that, but it's still it's mm. it's still I think Very it reminded good. me of Wounds, <laughs> which everyone hates but me. What? Oh, that may be like, I, but nah. Ah, 
I... not like totally but like some sort of like feeling to it i mean i mean this in the in a good sense i know everyone hates that film but i, I really and i did enjoy it and uh it kind of gave me the same creepiness about it uh, as the w- wounds <laughs> no, I, I, I know you're like Ugh. i can I, I can understand that you know. Yeah, like it, I, the main character in Wounds is shit. Like, don't get me wrong, he was terrible. Uh, so that sense, they're totally different. Yeah. But just like the sort of feel that they have. If you've seen both films, you kind of probably know what I'm talking about. Like the sort of like symbols and like the sort of like getting deeper into this sort of thing. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna say too much because I don't yeah. want to like, but but yeah, it's just very thrilling and very a very interesting film. It's a very interesting film. It is. It is. It really grows. Like every scene just gets like more intense and a bit more creepy, mm. and it like builds up on that. And yeah, yeah I, I can't really. And not not only, <laughs> not only Shane Carruth, but I don't know which. Um, I'm really bad at actors' names, but uh, the one who plays the the patient. Yeah, I uh, think it's he, Jeremy he's, Child. It's Jeremy Childs, right? Yeah uh he's uh he's fantastic as well he was fantastic like his, his expression when he's just like yeah yeah so good yeah because i was looking at him and i'm like shit i don't like he, he's scary <laughs> like I, yeah but like not in like a ooh way more than just like a yeah, yo like but it, it was like something what is in your mind yeah something can happen <laughs> like any second like he's mm. unpredictable kind of like that yeah 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 yes yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I give it an 8 out of 10. I will also give it an 8 out of 10. Very enjoyable. So, yeah. yeah. I really liked it. Yeah. And yeah, yeah we uh, also thank you to Newta Films, because we also saw this one with their help. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so check it out if you have the chance, and mm-hmm. uh, we look forward to seeing more from Bill Sinisi. Sinise. <laughs> Sorry, we should really check on how to pronounce things before we start. Yeah, we should like do like a Google thing, like how do you pronounce this last name? Yeah, we can hear it and be like, oh. Usually they have them on YouTube. (laughs) Oh yeah, maybe yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, great work. I loved it, and uh, yes. Yeah, me too. Don't forget to follow us and follow them and support indie film and Mm -hmm. genre film in general. And thank you for watching this episode. Yes. And stay horrific. Bye. Bye.